As an AHO, community-based researcher and visual storyteller, I'm guided by Nwako Makan, living stories, teachings, and wisdom. I'm responsible for what I do in my present to carry on my ancestors' prayers for our future generations. I carry that responsibility through the spirit of my academic and creative work in the most courageous ways. I took these photos of Nigawis this many years ago, not sure what we are going to do with them, since they represented her addressing her baby wounded self. Eight years later, she continues to expand her courage, strength, and teachings as an auntie, mother, kokom, and zapan. What you don't see are the tears I silently wept behind the camera to witness the transformative power of art and felt the sacredness of helping to carry the stories of our kin on the land through Sakitoin, Mina Witsitoin. Here is her reflections on the importance of Orange Shirt Day. Kageks namaksian blue coals. Uh, blue coals affected my life all the time, my daily life, even today, because I wasn't taught how to read or write. And I think it's so important for young people to realize not to not to be lazy about going to school or be lazy because the Creator gave us our bodies and minds and our souls to have a good life. I did not have a good life in residential school. It destroyed me, my mind, all my five senses, it affected me. And I, and what saved me from not going the other way was uh, my my grandfather's ways was the Indian way, Nehe Matsun, and that's what I believe today. And uh, all the things that I've done in my life, I've done it without him helping me. I prayed every day. When I was stuck, I prayed. When I was sad, I I prayed. When I was happy, I, I thanked him for even my truck and my dogs and everything because that's the way my grandfather, Cardinal, showed us. And I believe families are so important, but when you're, you've been in a residential school, your family is, is, is really uh, not well, really messed up in a lot of ways, physically, mentally, and spiritually, I think, because all my five senses been affected, and, and this is what I was made to believe as a, a child. I was five years old, and when I was done, I was 16, and then in the affairs kicked us out. But I say I lived this long and I'm so grateful that I never got killed and never was found by any residential school, especially Blue Quills. And I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for what my grandfather taught me, not just my cardinal, but Whiskey Jack too. He gave me strength and be able to speak my language today. Hi, hi. Naskum Thank you so much for listening to me.